Next up at UFC Vegas 75, we have Pat Sabatini taking on Lucas Almeida. Pat Sabatini, 17 and four overall, four and one in his last five. He is coming off that quick knockout loss to Damon Jackson. He's taking on Lucas Almeida, 14 and one overall, four and one in his last five. And he is coming off his first UFC win. As we know, Pat Sabatini is a very dangerous grappler. He's got good wrestling, solid pressure on top. His grappling is incredible. And he is always live for a submission. He's got some technical striking, but he doesn't, he seems a little stiff, right? Doesn't really put it together super well, but he does have technical striking, uh, solid footwork, even though he's stiff, if that makes sense, right? His feet are where they're supposed to be. His hands are where they're supposed to be, but he's not huh? fl flowing. He is averaging almost four takedowns per fight. He's coming off his first UFC loss, and that was to Damon Jackson. He was knocked out, but in fairness to Pat Sabatini, he almost didn't have time to do anything because Damon Jackson just came charging across, throwing hard, and then he caught him. But before that, we did see him get dropped and then pull off a wild heel hook. So I'll get to, is that in your notes? Jamal Emers. You could question his um, chin if you'd like. He's taking on Lucas Almeida. He's a very powerful striker. He loves throwing a heavy one too. He comes forward, he sets up a big right hand, and then he just looks for a finish, right? He's gonna march forward, throwing whatever the hell he needs to, to find that finish. But he is aware enough to know that he is a striker and not a grappler. We've seen him multiple times end up on top whether it was a scramble situation or what have you, end up on top. And if things get a little dicey, he goes, nope, stands up, resets, and is happy to get back to his feet and fight. And I think that's what we see here. I think we see Lucas Almeida staying on the outside, throwing big, avoiding takedowns, avoiding strikes. The reality is Lucas Almeida's takedowns defense could use a little bit of work. And I do think Pat Sabatini getting knocked out the way he did is just going to make him double down or even triple down on the grappling and the wrestling. And I think he can get it done with the grappling, with the wrestling. I think he's going to come forward, shoot, shoot, shoot. He's got some actual takedowns. He's not a jujitsu nerd. And even when his brains get scrambled a little bit, he's still live, as we saw with Jamal Ever. So I do think Pat Sabatini wins. Uh, I'm going to wait because we've seen him get hit. We've seen how, what happens when he gets hit hard. Lucas hits hard. So the bet in all likelihood will be Lucas Almeida inside the distance decision, no action, because I think even oh, if he does wow. get taken down, I think even if he does get taken down, he can I wonder where you got it. that idea. Be, well, I don't know. I said it on fucking Sunday, and you didn't place your bet till yesterday. So you tell me who had well, that idea first. Me, like the rest of the world, doesn't watch any of your shit. So. Little, little baby bitch. Let's hear your breakdown. Listen. I gotta piss. Say your stupid shit while I piss. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Let's have some fun here. Listen, guys. There is nobody in the entire world, and everyone in the chat that's, a, that's an OG We Won't Picks fan knows that there was nobody in the entire world that was a bigger Pat Sabatini fan than me. He was my lock of the week. Even when he was a minus 200 favorite, he was my lock of the week. It didn't matter. No matter what he did, I said that this guy had the mentality and the abilities to become a future champion in the UFC. And I thought he was on the path to absolute greatness, to dominate the featherweight division and become a champion. And I was touting him the entire way. Let me tell you right now, I'm done. I'm done with him. I, I'm, I'm done. With him. I, I, I cannot. I, I cannot do it with this guy anymore. I understand the grappling, the grappling prowess that this guy possesses. I understand if he gets the takedowns. He hasn't really shown that he's like a, an absolute finisher, and he's he's talked about trying to improve becoming a finisher, especially on the ground, but he has great, great control. I mean, his control in top position is absolutely insane, so I don't want to discredit his grappling at all, but this guy and that entire Henzo Gracie Philly camp uh, outside of Petrosky has made zero improvements in their striking it is absolutely amazing in four years that this guy has not improved in my mind as a striker in these fights and against a guy like Lucas Almeida who throws strikes right down the pipe he's not a big powerful guy there's not a lot of big powerful featherweights that are just one punch knocking out people but the way he is able to land accurately against a guy like Pat Sabatini who has shown had to have chin issues you don't need power you need 
accuracy and Lucas Almeida is very accurate when he throws strikes right down the pipe and Pat Sabatini will hang out on the feet because I believe he does think that he is making striking improvements I'm sure in that camp they're like oh my god look at we're good we're hitting Mitch we're doing good I'm done with that camp completely. I am biased. You probably shouldn't listen to me. If he gets the, the control, he can probably win this fight. I don't think he's going to find submissions against a guy like Lucas. Lucas is a black belt himself, too. He knows how to stay safe. I love the inside the distance decision no action play for Lucas. That's why I played it before Angel even mentioned it. Um, I mentioned it. I think, Sunday. excuse me. And I think that Lu I think that Lucas is able to find the shot. I mean, I, I just cannot trust Pat Sabatini to this point. I, I hope. I'm I almost. Uh, you know, if he comes in and gets the wrestling and the grappling and wins, you know, maybe we'll jump back on that train. But I am fully off to everyone's surprise, the Pat Sabatini train. And I'm going Lucas Almeida this week. I think he's the better striker and what could end up being a mostly striking matchup. All right. Well, you're really usually not on bottom. This is fun for me. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it in a second. Don't you? Don't you worry. You know um, what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. Usually I I'm struggling to breathe, but uh. I'm yeah. having fun up here. I uh, I uh, I hear where you're coming from. I give Pat a lot more credit for his striking than you will. Um, and his takedowns are what's impressive to me. He's not just a jujitsu nerd desperately trying to get it to the ground. He will shoot real takedowns and outwork people to get it there. Um, Ninety-one hundred dollars in DraftKings does feel a little steep, um, but if he wins and it's all those takedowns, all that control time. He's going to score really, really well. $7,100, are you going to take that risk in your DraftKings? I think I might. All right. Well, congratulations to you. I did just place that bet, the inside the distance decision no action bet. I threw 100 bucks on it, which is one unit. It is plus 100. Wow. What did you, what did you get a, it at? That's a big old, uh, big old. What did you get it at? Uh, plus 120. Well, and this is why premium members need to link their Discord because you would have seen it when Jacob placed it. You would have gotten that plus 120 if you like that bet. I don't advocate blindly tailing, but if you like a bet, you see it, and it makes sense to you, then that's why it's so important to link your Discord. If you're a premium member, if you're not, it's only $10 a month. What are you waiting for? And here's a vouch. Revenant, $20 Super Chat, says, I'm up 60 plus units over the last six events and that's nowhere near the rest of some of the other wwp premium members join today you won't regret it thanks angelo jacob and the rest of the wwe crew i mean i'm gonna say wwe pitch it, huh wwp i'm gonna sales pitch it all the time because that's what i do and it's working but i mean this is from the community themselves thank you very much revenant very generous of you and uh really appreciate the kind words and then we have a $2 super chat from Matt R. Opinion on Almeida inside the distance decision. No action plus 120. Well, we both like it. And I did see that you posted that right before I went pee pees. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put the world back in order. There we go. Everything makes sense again. <laughs> 